Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Bobby's World. It's your boy Bobby, back again. Uh, here to explain a quick little uh, Yeezy Supply and Adidas.com manual cook option. Um, and this is basically what we're going to do here is you want to set up uh, multiple profiles in Google Chrome, and then you want to set them up so they all run on different proxies or IP addresses. So uh, without further ado, we're going to jump right into that. Um, and here we go. So starting out, uh, I got a blank Google Chrome screen. You'll see at the top right corner your either your icon, logo, picture, whatever it may be. Um, click on that, and then that's going to load up all your options. You're going to scroll down to the bottom, click on Add, and this is going to create a new profile, a new Chrome window, which will be a new profile. We'll be able to put a new IP or proxy on. So check this out. So new user, we're going to call it Easy Supply Cooker One. Or dragon boom so now you see that open up a new chrome window go back we're gonna do the same thing again if it'll let me it was giving me errors there we go adidas cooker one that'll be an elephant boom so that should open up another chrome window now each one of these is individual um, as you can see so my original has all my extensions these new ones have no extensions um, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a single extension to each one. I will have this link in the description. Um, this is a program called Switchy Omega or Proxy Switchy Omega. And this allows you to switch your proxies on the Chrome window. So you'll see once this loads for us. Uh, this is what it looks like. Again, I'll have the link posted, but you can search Proxy Switchy Omega. Add to Chrome. Add extension, add to Chrome, add extension, and you'll see now we should have the icon pop up in the top right corner. There it is. Don't worry about this sheet. Now, you could let this run through this, and it'll explain everything, but I'm going to explain everything here on the video, so it's not a huge deal. Close that, close that. From here, let's click on this first one. So click on the icon. Um, system proxy or direct that's going to be just whatever your regular ip is um scroll down you want to go to options from here you want to create a new profile call this adidas coker 2 um, keep it proxy profile that's fine create that and now boom now we got a new profile you should be able to see it well it will load up here once we save everything um, all you want to set here is your protocol to HTTP, grab your proxies, so the IP address will go here, your port will go here, click on this little lock, this will give you the options for the password, and so username, password, Save changes. Um, from there, you also want to make sure you click Apply Changes. And let's do the same over here. So click on the icon, go to Options, New Profile. Uh, proxy Profile, Create. Um, and now you could do this new profile, and add as many proxies as you want, and then it'll just add them to this dropdown so you can switch between whatever. But that isn't really necessary for this purpose. So we are not going to do that. So add the IP, add the port, add your username and your password. Save changes, apply changes. And now you should be able to see... So there's my current public IP address. If I come up here and I click the icon and then single click on the profile that I set up, you'll see this will load. Same deal here. New IP addresses. So you guys can go ahead, do this um, as many times as you want. I suggest no fewer than five times to give yourself the best chance of uh, getting through on the splash pages. Um, and you can kind of set these up and change the sizes and just watch at drop time. 
but that's it let me get this video out to you guys uh, so hopefully we can put this to use on the cinders and happy cooking